Hey friends, let's make ourselves a very pretty winter grapevine with this adorable snowman hat and some coordinating ribbon. So I'm going to start with figuring out where to place my attachment and I use a um, large yarn needle to pass my pipe cleaner through my grapevine. And then attach it, secure it, and glue it a little bit. I also made a hole on the side of the hat because I wanted it to be secured where I know it's going to be covered by this gorgeous bow and our greenery that we're going to add. We have a um, video tutorial on YouTube for the bow and I will link it below. Of course, we're crafters, we're gonna fluff away. So I'm just fluffing and cutting my tails. I do want them rather short. I don't want all of my hat to be covered. And I'm gonna start inserting some greenery. I chose different types of greenery. Some of them have uh, sparkles and it looks like iced uh, rain, which is very, very pretty. And it also have uh, these branches. They look like natural branches. So I just put those here and there. And don't forget to go behind the bow so that our bow is not sitting flat, but it starts to take a little bit of a better shape and staying into place. And when you're making a grapevine, you kind of have to decide where you want it to start and where you want it to stop and how much of the grapevine you want to leave uncovered. I chose to go from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock and fill in between, leaving the other side empty and more on the rustic side. And mix in whatever type of greeneries you like to make sure that you give them some volume, texture, different colors, different shades of green. I always love that in my arrangements. And of course, we have to go behind our bow. Can't leave that spot empty. And just make a uniform look as we go from 6 o'clock all the way to 12. I had some little pieces that I decided to put inside the bow. And I do use Gorilla Glue. So I am sure the stuff is not going anywhere. I have this very pretty eucalyptus leaves. I picked it up from Michael's and I'm just inserting the branches here and there. They also have some glitter, some sparkle, and a little bit of snow. I just didn't want a heavy snow look. And just continue to integrate your pieces so that it's a uniform look. And whatever small little pieces I have left over, I like to insert them in my bow in between the loops and make sure that everything is nice and pretty looking. I keep standing back and looking at the wreath, making sure that all my greenery is even all around and that we have a good balance. And when something is too short and it's going outside of my shape, then we just clip it off. It's that simple. And there you have it, you guys. So the attachment can be found in my Etsy shop. I hope you enjoyed this very short and sweet tutorial for a beautiful wreath that could bring you all the way to spring. See you soon.